Holy shit, I'm hungry again. What's wrong with me? You are gonna kill us. Genuinely. You're gonna eat all of our food. Day two into isolation. I just want a snack. The hair is my downfall 100%, and I feel like sometimes I can spend three hours on my makeup and feel great and either try and do my hair and not nail it or just not try at all because okay. I don't know how to uh, and then I see a photo and I'm just like Lexi's pet hate is people box dyeing their hair at home Oh, and that's like You that's can't fair. do it, it's not easy <laughs> I mean I studied for a very long time to do what I do I once did four in a day Remember that time I accidentally was yep, red? Yeah, because you were dark to start with oh, You bleached it twice and it was orange it was and then you bleached it again, and it was like orange yellow. And you bought brown box dye, put it on, and then obviously, because it's not filled, it went green. Because I did say you need something a bit warm, like red yeah. base to fill, and you <laughs> what a red <laughs> color. It wasn't cute. And then we're shocked when it was red. I love uh, an effortless beach wave. Yeah. Like, okay. I did not spend more than a second on this and, and product. Well, ideally, you but I did. like. We have the 32mm Babeless Pro Styler. This is like a quarter inch. Prepped. Well, I did. Prep me. Okay. What is it? <laughs> so, one of the B3 Color Lock um, sprays. So this one locks in pigment, prevents color, um, wash out, reduces color fade, repels dirt and pollution, so stuff that gets clung onto your hair when you're walking around, mm -hmm. even like old products. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's silicon free. And then I got sent um, a f um, like bunch of products from Amika. Today, we're just gonna use the hairspray and the oil. Heat defense, that's good. Okay. okay. I've never defense. used that for anything in my life, ever. It's too many steps in my head. Well, this isn't all in one. Okay. Tiny bit. Okay. Heat it up in your hands and then just break. Rake, rake, rake. Get like the last little bits and just go over these parts here. Okay. That's the part where like, obviously when you're looking at yourself, that's the part you're gonna go over and over again with the irons or, cause you want that to sit perfect, yeah. you know? This is a good tip. If it's a good oil, make sure it's clear because if it's gold, it's gonna, especially on blondes, it'll like make your head blonde, your blonde yellow. If you use an oil, if you try and get a tester or something first, get it from a salon um, and rub it into your hands, wait a couple of minutes and if it's dried into your hands and it's going to dry into your hair, it won't leave residue. Oh, true. All right. Are we going to start? Let's do it. So we just do really easy steps. So you go from behind the ear to back along. You know that little bone that kind of dips down? Clip it up. These are my most favorite clips at the moment. You can get it off Salons Direct. Use my code. What's your code? Lexi. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cryptic. So basically like you take the middle part, divide it, obviously bring it around your shoulders, mm -hmm. and then divide that part into two. That part there you want to curl towards your face. So grab it, bend it around the tool, clamp, twist, heat it up so it comes back out, drop out and slide. Ta -da. This is just like to get that really soft look. So I do these parts here forward because then when you've done the rest of your hair these parts come in and fill the gap in here okay otherwise you look like fire faucet so clamp yeah bend it around oh sure so bring it back a little bit clamp clamp twist twist, twist. drop that hair drop it drop it twist 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 come back around leave a little bit out yeah and then unravel pull it down perfect and then slide so that's the goal to have a bit more of a straight. So it's kind of like you're just putting a bend in the middle of the hair. Yeah. And then this part, the other half, that goes backwards. Go up the hair shaft a bit more, clamp, bend this around, twist towards me, towards me, towards me, towards that's away from me. That's oh, definitely away from me. Wait, is that the hood? <laughs> towards me. Yeah, let this go. Twist. You've just teased your hair somehow. That's good, but you can see that teasing there. But that's fine. I would usually do all the curls first and then do makeup, let them cool right down, and then dress out. That's another tip for fine hair. So, other side. Oh god. This is like learning how to f drive again. I'm actually nervous, I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah, I'm sweating too, to be fair, because that's really close to me. <laughs> <laughs> Grab that part. So, you've just rolled it right down to the end of your hair then. Oh, so, you're going to get a full so curl. I'm going to get a little girl curl. Yep, and curl right there. Don't slide it down. Oh, okay. Yeah, that right there. Bend it. Yep, that way. Perfect. Yeah. Drop. You really don't don't need that. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Oh, she's warm. <laughs> so here I would just kind of clamp this part here on the bend and then just straighten it. Why don't we show the audience how to fix it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it's really about understanding which way it needs to be directed. So, next section <laughs> is temples. Right. Straight back to back crown. Three sections in total. So, first two sections I always do from uh, just behind the ear straight up. I mean, you did that really hard. I just, I complicate things yeah. for myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my earring. <laughs> I think that I make this all look effortless. Are you alright? Well, my earring's broken. Oh, and my spirit is a bit also. <laughs> These parts, forward. And then straighten that bit. Drop it. And towards your face, towards your face, towards your face. Oh, I think I get it. Oh, I'm more forward. Thank you. Ain't but a thing. <laughs> but a chicken wing. <laughs> so see, I bend it right around really hard. And I kind of like adjust the lever so I'm not just like ripping my hair out. I think, yeah, that's where I'm going wrong. So you want to get it sort of as tight as you can during this process and then relax and sculpt and shape and mm. whatever. To dress out, sometimes I like get a blow dryer because the soft heat from the blow dryer helps to like straighten out the curl a little bit more. And you want to separate, right? And fill mm. volume. Yeah. Oil. Spray. That's what they're for. Done? Yes. I'm get rid of all the spritz. Okay. That smells really good. Oh. <laughs> it smells like vodka. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Does I'm that not like it. <laughs> I'm not like it. Like, oh, that, that smells great. Like, is it vodka? <laughs> if you want like extra volume, so mine always just kind of falls here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go here. Because once I curl that, flip it over, I've got that little bit of extra volume. Right. So because I'm flipping it, I'm gonna do this. Wow, that's wrapped around my leg. <laughs> Forward. Mm -hmm. So if bits kind of fall out, it's fine. Because we want that disheveled look. So with these parts, I kind of pull forward. Right. Yeah. Clamp. Am I doing this? Yep. Yep. Okay. It's happening. Well, we'll let it happen. Done. This is also where I think a lot of people go wrong is once they do it, they just don't really know how to dress it out. You know, yeah. How to tame the bird. <laughs> a little bit of baby oil. This just stops it from going fluffy. Uh -huh. If some bits are a bit too curly. <gasps> that is a sick pro tip. I always like having that little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It looks cute, just a little bit in front of your ear. It is cute. So don't put this at your roots. Just only the legs and ends. Okay. Flip. Flip that her. Calm it out. Fluff it up. Shake it about. Ha! <laughs> I do this little trick where you just kind of like grab the top and then rake it. Okay. So it separates the curl a little bit more. Oh, then it gives you a bit more volume at the top as well. Yeah. What are your thoughts on salt no. or any other texture? I'm not a fan. So my go-to is just like a bit of hairspray, a um, bit of oil. Co do a product called Mannequin, which is a texture paste. So when you put it in, you work it in, it gives it loads of texture, but it kind of like dries. Right. It makes your hair so soft. The hair salt spray is really good. I'm the kind of person that I want my hair looking like it's got loads of product in it, but doesn't have any product in it. So, you've got like those straighter ends, which gives, it just gives it that kind of beachier look. You know, like a bit, bit of a straighter end, bit of one kink through those mid lengths. It just looks so much better. Okay, this is the full look. We're gonna go and probably selfie an unhealthy amount. Um, <laughs> and that's not an isolation thing, that's a me thing. <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, bye. <laughs> See ya.